The Peasant Prince by Lee Schwinzing and Anne Spudvillis is the true story of Mao's last answer. The story begins with young Li in northern China taken from his family to dance in an elite dance school in Beijing. Li ends up becoming a world famous dancer and the story concludes with him seeing his parents again as he opens for the Nutcracker in New York. This book contains a variety of strong language features that help create meaning and contribute to an emotional and engaging story. For example, the title of the book contains the figurative language feature of alliteration, with both words starting with P, the peasant and prince. The author also uses personification and simile to paint a picture. The kite soared like a bird. Another evaluative language feature represented is repetition, seen here as Lee practices both night after night, turning and turning. Many visual features are implemented throughout the illustrations of this book to create meaning and emotion, the first being the high modality of the participants. We see the participants interacting with each other closely, with strong vectors created through eye contact. Here, interpersonal distance and gaze are implemented as Lee leaves his family home. The direct eye contact and distant placement of the family makes the reader feel the separation. Later in the book, we see the illustrator place a sad Lee at the front of the page, using salience and interpersonal space to draw our attention to Lee. This page, a practicing Lee, is positioned directly in the middle of the page, which is an example of an information zone. And the salience, or the use of colors, draws the attention of the reader directly to Lee. Overall, this book is a beautiful story containing vivid illustrations that tell the story of young Lee.